The threats came in the mail. Twenty-five letters that warn of nuclear bombs destroying America. People who got them worried enough to call the FBI. As CBS 2's Kristen Hartman learned, the Bureau's office here in Chicago is leading the investigation. Were people concerned when they received it? Yes, they were very concerned. It alarmed a lot of people. Including Tracy Rizzo. A number of days ago, an envelope with a Chicago postmark and a handwritten address to her private investigations firm came in the mail. And inside is this letter. It says the Al-Qaeda organization has planted 160 nuclear bombs throughout the U.S. in schools, churches, stores, financial institutions, and government buildings. This is a suicide mission for us, it says. The writer, who claims to be Osama bin Laden, tells the reader the nukes are remotely controlled. How would you quantify how you felt about it? Well, it was clear that the writer wanted to scare me, and yes, it did frighten me. Rizzo was one of eight people to contact the FBI in the Chicago area. Agencies in Oregon, California, Texas, and Florida also got the letter with the Chicago postmark. There's items in that letter which is what leads us to believe that it's a hoax. There's several demands uh, documented in this letter that uh, are, are not fully coherent. Special Agent Andre Zavala says much of the message doesn't add up. But in a post-9-11 world, the FBI simply can't let it go. The FBI investigates every allegation of potential terrorism. And why is that? I mean, even if this seems to be crazy. We, we can't take that chance. So why the threats? The writer alluded to how families in Afghanistan have to live. Now, the FBI says it will find that writer. And when it does, he could face five to ten years in prison for each letter mailed, even if it is a hoax, Jim and Kate. Because putting that kind of threat in the mail is a federal offense. Exactly. All right. Kristen Hartman, thank you.